how you perkin? I hope you perkin good. So, highly requested video here today. People have been asking in my comment section on all my more recent videos, like about the election and everything that's been going on here in the United States. People have been saying, what about Elon Musk? What about Elon Musk? Can you look into Elon Musk? So, here we are today to dive into your questions that you sent in about Elon Musk. So, y'all sent in a lot of different questions. They mostly boiled down to these main things. Um, people are kind of wanting to know if he has genuine intentions or if he has nothing but kind of selfish, uh, potentially insidious intentions. Um, people are wanting to know if whatever he's involved in, whatever his influence is, whatever he's doing, is this going to actually benefit the United States and the American people? Like, are we going to feel like, oh, thank goodness, this was so helpful for us or not? <laughs> and then basically if we have any time left over I'm just going to kind of ask what else are we allowed to know what else can we know about what to expect around Elon Musk so let's dive right on into that and see what we can figure out here today I'm a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive and in these videos we take a look at the tea with the tarot don't freak out and run away just yet got a good track record here on the channel um let me pull up the cards over there and move this microphone, this microphone, this microphone right here, right here. I got a Penelope. We're trying, trying to match in the red here, okay? This is my way of, like, <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to have some sort of fun with what I'm doing here because sometimes the topics and stuff get really serious and really heavy and, you know, I, I just gotta do something to keep it light. <laughs> so, that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna get shuffled up and we're gonna take a peek. And I know it always says this on a screen, but this is all alleged, just my interpretation, okay? All alleged, just my interpretation. Let's see. First question here. Just wanting to dive straight into, does the man have good intentions or bad intentions? And let's see kind of where they take this. Um... He's apparently helped Trump a lot on the campaign trail. He's apparently um, helped uh, Trump in terms of transitioning and, and building a team or a you know cabinet or whatever. And apparently he's supposed to um, be working like either in the government or with the government with like a doge, I guess, type of thing, a department of whatever, you know, efficiency and things like that. So just trying to see, has he got good intentions here? Or we have purely selfish intentions, like, you know, just trying to get a sense for how far, how far our trust level can go. Wow, I can't say that. How far can we throw our trust at this man? AKA, that's what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> so let's take a peek. It's so interesting. I'm so used to for the last, you know, however long, I guess, you know, four years that we've been seeing this card and it's been meaning our President Joe Biden card, but that now we're kind of asking about different things and different people. So the meaning of this card is going to be shifting over time. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I've gotten used to seeing that card for four years. So now I'm like, oh. I've got to transition what this card means to us now. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. So, let's see. Do I want any context cards or am I going to stay right here for now? I think I'm going to stay right here for now. So, first, and I'm sure they're going to dive into, you know, all kinds of stuff from here. So, this is only the beginning of this damn thing. Um, but I will say, with what I'm seeing here so far... There's nothing here freaking me out too bad, which is a good start. I'm especially glad that this is coming up in the reverse position because it's not a very great card <laughs> in its upright position here. Um, but what I'm seeing here, just to start out, and we'll see where it takes us afterwards, is <sighs> this looks like it's 
this looks like when Elon Musk is thinking about whatever he's doing, however he's helping, whatever his intentions are, he has more than just himself on his mind. Um, and people can think of that as a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm seeing several different kinds of people in cards here. And the positive is that I'm getting this King of Cups upright. The negative here is both this King of Swords and Queen of Wands are in reverse. So this feels a little bit like a mixed bag here um, as it relates to whether his intentions are good or bad. So for people who think he's just, you know, he's a genius and he purely is sick of what he's been seeing that has been negatively impacting us as Americans and he's going to use all of his wonderful intelligence to come in, clean things up, figure it out, save the day, yada, yada, yada. And it, it really is just about that. I don't see that to be fully true. On the flip side, people that are like, you know, this is a billionaire, in fact, probably the richest guy in the world at this point. Um, you really can't trust that. This is nothing but, you know, saving and covering his ass in the interests of those like him. It's completely selfish and he rigged this thing to, to make sure he could have what he needs and wants out of it. It doesn't look like that either. So either of those extremes in how people might view Elon Musk is not what I'm seeing in here. I'm not seeing either of the extremes. What I am seeing is this looks more nuanced than that. Surprise, the world is more nuanced than just black and white, up and down, you know, whatever. Um, so what they're showing here, it feels like he has some good intentions here. I like seeing that this Six of Swords card is like, yeah, this could take us in a better direction. So these, these intentions are in the right place. And I do see the Eight of Wands in terms of his ability to communicate that, to, you know, travel to be wherever he needs or have his team wherever he needs so that they can kind of, you know, have a presence in whatever way is necessary. All that kind of stuff looks good. But when I do see this Three of Swords card, even if it's in reverse, still, it feels like this, I'm trying to avoid this situation. So it's like he doesn't want a situation that's going to hurt him some type of way, hurt his interests some type of way, and he is trying to avoid that. So it's kind of like, well, hey, if I get involved and I do these types of things that will help people if it works, you know, that it will help people, but it means that I get to have my hands in the matter. It means that I get to have insights and be privy to certain conversations, you know, and get to, you know, do things that will keep me from losing my interests. So win-win situation is kind of what it feels like is going on there. So I do see some selfish intentions in this. I do. Um, and I see some pure intentions in this. I see both. So I do see that he could use, you know, whatever he's got at his disposal, his intelligence, since he's allegedly a genius. Um, and, and I don't say that as, like, me being rude. Like, oh, he's allegedly a genius. Obviously, he's smarter than me and a lot of other people, you know. It's just that I don't know if he really is a genius, so I'm just having to say it like that. Um, but, like, yeah, that he would be using his intelligence. He would be using his you know, power or sway or whatever for things that are positive for the American people, but also to avoid things that could, you know, affect him negatively. Um, and, you know, it, it's, this is like, I've been burned in the past. Sometimes this card comes up or talking about the past and heart heartaches and breaks in the past, like I've been burned in the past and I want to avoid getting burned in the future. Um, I don't know how or whatever kind of way he may have been burned in the past or by who, um, but it seems like, yeah, it's kind of like if I have my hand in the cookie jar, I can do good things, but I can also have more control over 
what's happening and where things are going in a way that can help me as well. Um, so, mm, mixed results on this. It's, since it's not terrible, this is a decent start, I guess, compared to what it could be. So I say let's just dive right on in, get some more insights here on, all right, if these are the intentions, some not so great, but some pretty good. We all know you can have the best of intentions and still not be effective. You can have the best of intentions and still not make a difference or do much good. So with him having kind of mixed intentions, how's that going to affect us as the American people? And even how that might have implications for others of y'all in other places in the world. So let's pull these up, reshuffle, and just kind of see that. Because that's, for a lot of people, that's the bottom line. For a lot of people, they're like, you know, I don't know what I think about the man. I don't know if he's good or bad. I just want to know, is he going to help us? Is he going to make our experience in day-to-day -day life any better or not you know is it just going to help big businesses and and stuff like that and we're going to be forgotten again kind of thing you know that's that's what i'm hearing from a lot of people so let's see here i shuffle these up while i am getting shuffled here if you'd like to be a member of the perk squad to get extra perks you know you get all kinds of things you get extended videos you get um weekly forecast you get your own penelope by your name you get little emojis that are specifically made for you um you even get some early release videos sometimes lots of different perks in the perk squad if you'd like to be a member then you can join with the join button below or the link in the description box um another perk to the perk squad video shout outs so shout out to you cindy mamos and thank you for being a member of the perk squad happy to have you here cindy mamos and thank you for being a member of the perk squad shout out to you awesome all right, y'all. And then, yeah, on our live streams that we do twice a month, we also give away free um, one-month memberships to the Perk Squad as well. So YouTube has been letting me do that recently, and I am thankful for it. All right, let's see. How in the world is he going to do for the United States in terms of where the rubber meets the road? Is this going to help us? Are we going to feel helped by whatever it is that he's about to do for however long he's about to help us? Presumably the next four years during Trump's term. Let's just see what we've got here about it. All right. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, not terrible. Okay, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Um, So... Lord of mercy, when we talked about a mixed bag with the other question, we're getting another mixed bag here. And this is a really weird mix. Like, this mix reminds me of, if if any of y'all are like Harry Potter fans, like I grew up with the Harry Potter books and the whole jelly beans where you might get a really tasty jelly bean, but you might get like a vomit flavored one or something, an earwax flavored one or something. And so it's like, it can be either really good or really bad kind of thing. Uh, that's the vibe that's coming from here. And I just have to like, I'm not smiling and laughing uh, for any reason other than this is how I process my nervousness as I'm doing these readings and I'm getting things that are like, ah, I have to, I have to talk about this. This affects me. Um, e e yikes. Uh, so that's where that's coming from. <sighs> Lord of mercy. Um, all right. So these are great cards. This is a really not great card. Let's get a context card on all three here on the bottom row. So we can see where this is going. Huh. All right. Come on. Flip yourself. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, in terms of is he going to help us or not? Again, this is a, a really mixed bag in in kind of extreme ways so it looks like there are some things that he's gonna be 
working on or invested in or doing that could have some really good uh, takeaways for us, really good things that, that, that we actually will be glad that he had his hand in this because, yeah, this is actually promising and helpful for us. But at least one thing, at least in one way, there's going to be something really pretty bad. So I'm wincing about that. I see that he's going to bring new ideas and innovation. That's a good thing. I see that he's not going to be able to wrangle things quite the way that he was thinking of. And they're putting that as a bad thing. AKA, you know, innovation can be great, but not if you're caught blocked by Congress or things like that. So I do see for every step that he might get, he might end up having to take two steps back because being met with resistance some kind of a way. Um, and I see him having to, at some point in time, pull away or step back or take a pause or something like that. Like there's something that feels like it could either be trying to push him out or stop something or, or kind of stalemate him some kind of a way. There's some kind of a like pregnant pause there, uh, with some of the things that he would be proposing to do. So in those ways, there's a lot of energy here of, yeah, you might have great innovation, but your hands are tied. Um, and there is a resistance here and there is a pushing back and pushing out, um, on you. So this, how it's saying is kind of making it seem like, these things would be good things that he could and would be doing and that the resistance or the pushback or the pushing out is considered a bad thing that that if they would not put up a resistance not try to push it out um and not try to cock block it then that would be better but unfortunately the reticence is there the resistance is there the pushback is there so this is actually more in his favor um like in terms of speaking well about him just in ways that his hands might be tied you know that there would be a, a ceiling on on kind of how far he could get with those particular innovations down here, though, this is where we get this crazy ass pendulum swinging with this here looking pretty amazing. Honestly, this here also looking pretty amazing and this looking bad as hell. <laughs> um, so what in the hell? <laughs> like, why? Why can't things be simple when we read these, you know? Other people seem to get things that are simple. We seem to get nuance and context. And technically, I like to have nuance and context because I feel like it's a better picture than just somebody that says one blanket superficial thing that's more simple. But it is also frustrating in a way. So, yeah, here we go with it. This is about legalities balance and fairness and it's in the upright position and this is all about timing and purpose with it so in some kind of a way with intentionality timing and purpose he will be able to bring some sort of balance to things he will bring some sort of fairness to things he would be able to um tap in in actual ways that are like, you know, probably having to look through certain legalities or closing, you know, bad legal loopholes that were working against us and stuff like that. So I see him being able to use power positioning, um, even the legal system, uh, and things like that to, help bring things in a more balanced and fair and quote unquote right type of positioning. Um, and that this is like in terms of where we are 
in the world, this is a good time to try to make those types of steps forward. Um, and so that type of positioning is, I guess, the, the energy of now favors that. The energy of now is kind of ripe for the picking to go in that those types of directions those things will be good these are our ways that we as the american people might might find if there were people that were yeah doing shifty things through loopholes it's gonna get gonna get addressed um if people were doing things that literally weren't fair or balanced it's gonna get addressed if if you know our institutions and organizations were doing things that were to our detriment in some kind of a way that the gavel can be you know pounded down and and corrected those things are going to get addressed that looks quite positive over here I'll do the other positive just so we can do positive positive and then go into this crazy thing because then we might end up pulling more on that one. <laughs> um, over here, this is confidence and success and going forward in a positive way. And so this looks like there will also be some sort of breadcrumbs that lead, lead us in a positive way. This is somebody that may have won a battle but may not have won the war yet. And so in this kind of a way, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of big things that need changing and you can't just snap your fingers and change big things. But if you win this battle and then you win this battle and then you win this battle and then you win this battle and you win this battle and you win this battle, you win this battle it's like in aggregate, those start to really add up into something substantive, real and with this six of swords upright it's like yeah and that takes us closer and closer to the right direction further and further where things should go or where things would feel better do better be better for us because this question is about helping us um and so i see lots of smaller wins adding up over time in aggregate that this is a really good potential here However, we're all looking at this devil card <laughs> and the world card in reverse under it. So, the devil card is always about toxicity and excess and, you know, unhealthy things, unhealthy dynamics, um, just basically everything that we don't want to see everything that could negatively affect us negatively impact us and with the world card in reverse this is kind of like the world is not ready to go into a whole new direction big and fast like that they're not ready to let go of the chains and so again when we were talking about resistance and things up there this is kind of showing some sort of what resistance could look like down here and when you get two powerful entities in a big power struggle it's kind of like when freaking kong and godzilla fight each other and they destroy the damn cities kind of thing it's like i'm glad there's you know powers that be that are that are kind of trying to duke it out lay all the cards on the table no pun intended figure things out you know fight it out just instead of doing the same old same old all the time or status quo all the time fine but when y'all fight y'all mess up the city you destroy the city for everybody kong and godzilla and that's what this kind of feels like that in some kind of a way this feels destructive for us on the ground and i don't like that and because it has to do with elon musk and his presence and him stepping in regardless of his intentions technically when this happens this will be kind of viewed as his fault or his failings or his shortcomings or his whatever like 
and it looks negative for us. So I'm going to ask just for, I'm going to pull these away to the side for just for now. And I'm going to try to flush these out a little bit more to kind of see what extra context we can have allowed to have about this piece. Yeah, it has to do again with this partnership type stuff, you know, it's like him making these big partnerships, big alliances and stuff like that. And what does that do when that upsets the current structures of the way things are or other big and powerful people and how does that work again it's this sense of these this team of allies coming together against this team of allies coming together so you know it's weird it would be like if here we go again with these same whatever this is the how they're putting it i'm putting it this way so like if you're saying all the marvel comic people coming over and fighting all the DC comic people and it's just a show a showdown yeah like that's that's a big deal and what about us <laughs> here on the ground as y'all are as y'all are you know duking it out what is that going to look like for us king of cups card coming here again and in the upright position we're still not entirely sure of who this is it's come up here twice just out of curiosity, not that I read this way. I don't usually read via astrology, but just out of curiosity, let me see. Uh, I'm going to look it up on here. Do, 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 do. Well, where are you? <laughs> Okay, yeah, all right, there we go. I just looked up astrology, Elon Musk, um, zodiac sign, because again, I don't generally, you know, focus too much on astrology in my readings. I don't know as much uh, about that, um, but I just got a little hunch right here, so I just typed it in, and it's coming up, sun sign, cancer, and rising sign, also cancer. So... He is now coming up as our King of Cups. Remember at the very beginning when it came up here and I was like, it used to be biting. I'm going to have to get used to it being somebody else now. And now it's come up again right here. This is now Elon Musk. Apparently, at least as we're asking things that pertain to Elon Musk, if we ask things that pertain to, to Joe Biden, I'm sure then we'll still have the King of Cups for him. But now it's kind of changing over and the King of Cups now as we're asking these types of things has has shifted from the last four years and now it's now it's referring to elon musk wow um they're bringing him in the upright position so again they're not trying to crap talk him right now at this particular juncture although they did have some critical things to say about some of his intentions being a bit more on the selfish side um overall they're not wanting to to shit talk him here but still this is uh he's making waves in the pool um and again someone dives in and makes a big wave if they're doing a cannonball in the pool the rest of us in the pool are the ones that get splashed with the displaced water it looks like he's going to be doing some things that actually is him shooting himself in the foot him getting in his own way tripping himself up and it could be because he's so used to business stuff and not used to government stuff as much that maybe he's kind of like oh i just wish government would work like corporate does and it just doesn't it just doesn't you can be frustrated about that all day long but it just doesn't and so there might be some things that he does where it's like you're screwing the pooch on this one, bro. If you would just back up and not do that, or if you would try a different route, or if you wouldn't have gone at it that way, you're getting in your own way here. You're messing things up for yourself. So I do see that. And the full card in reverse, which he probably needs to be careful because especially with the full card in reverse, he could get on not only people's bad sides, that are a part of whoever's resisting him he could get on people's bad sides who are part of his own team <laughs> like so if he's if people 
that are more, you know, Democrat left, whatever, are already thinking of him as like enemy number one, then you don't want the right or any Trump folks to also be thinking of you as you're getting in the way or something, because then you're going to really have a hard time. So there's something here that's almost like you're too smart for your own good. You're too mm, tunnel vision for your own good. This mm, certain things aren't going to shake down so well because of all of this. Anything else that we can know with this? Yeah, just kind of can't let it go. Um, starting to do things that are a bit unbalanced, starting to do things that are a little bit on the shifty side, having to make some kind of a decision, could be a stay or go decision, could be, you know, something that's more like red light, green light, where knowing when to advance versus when to pause. Um, and then here we go with our Trump card also coming up in an upright position right now. So in, in other words, they're not right now wanting to shit talk him. But him coming up, like, he's coming up here on top. All of this stuff is here on the bottom. It's like, okay, they're putting Trump up here. Under all of this stuff, this is where you are, Elon Musk. Under all of this, this is where Trump is. And basically, it's kind of like, and you better remember that. It's kind of get in your place type of thing and not saying the spirit guides are telling him to get in his place saying that this is what looks like it would be playing out is that there is kind of a know your role or dot 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 so this is feeling kind of like too many cooks in the kitchen too many hands in the cookie jar you know how many adages can i say that kind of give that effect oh man Oh, this is going to be interesting when you get so many powerful, rich, opinionated, headstrong people all together. You have too many alphas in a pack. And we the people will be the ones that feel it. So there's been some good things, some not so good things in this. Um, wow, I imagine that we're probably going to end up with some more questions. If y'all have other questions that pertain to Elon Musk or this administration or whatever kind of stuff, y'all put them in, in the comments below because it looks like we're going to need to take more time to look into this. If you would like to book a private reading then beestalksontero.com you can book a private reading there i've got 15 minute readings 30 minute readings 45 minute readings um also have reiki energy healing for anybody that wants any cleansing and clearing um some kind of a way i have intuitive healing sessions for people that want help want to you know get past certain things that have been holding them back or weighing them down, get to the life that they're really wanting and, and just want somebody to kind of help hold their hands through that process and, and uh, help them figure it out. I also have tarot tutoring for people who want to learn how to read the cards the way I read the cards here. Um, and so all that, beastalksandtarot.com. And... For those of y'all who have stayed to the end, and hopefully everyone has stayed to the end, it is time to announce the giveaway winners from the November predictions video. So, in at the very beginning of November, we were able to do another giveaway for three winners. Um, thanks to Elle again for that. And with this... Um, I said sometime in the month of November, I would announce the three winners. So here it is time. I have already used the little um, random winner picker. And let's see. Let's see who won right now. Alrighty, time for the moment of truth. I have the word win typed in here. And we're going to use the little random pick a winner tool to see which three winners 
um, from this November predictions video are the ones who are going to win a free 15 minute private reading with me. So let's see. First winner. Da -da -da -da. All right, Jerry Redbird. <laughs> Congratulations. I love your name. That's so cool. Congratulations. You are our first winner. Wonderful. Let's see who our second winner is. Okay, Regina Long, 2559. Congratulations, you are our second winner. Hooray, awesome. Okay, we are moving right along. We are just turning them out here. One more. All right, drum roll. Okay, Miss Stella Bella Blue, congratulations, you are our third winner. Awesome. Thank you all for entering the giveaway and glad to to get in touch with you to give you your prize. All righty. Thanks again to the winners for entering in and congratulations to the winners for being selected today. So to claim your prize, just email me at beastalksandtarot at gmail.com. So if you're one of the three winners, email me at beastalksandtarot at gmail.com and I will work with you to help you claim your prize for a free 15-minute private tarot reading with me. Thanks to Elle. So thank you, Elle, for that. Again, um, paying it forward for all of y'all through the holidays. And we'll be doing some other videos here on the channel, but... Just as a little heads up on the December predictions video that'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks, I guess, because we're actually getting close to December. Holy shit. Um, in that one, we'll be able to pick three final winners from the holidays. We'll do another we'll do another giveaway where people enter to win and we'll be able to choose three remaining winners for the holidays. Um, so Love that. Very appreciative to Elle for paying it forward through the holiday season for some folks. So y'all stay here. Keep watching some videos so you can keep entering into some giveaways and continue to have chances to win. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe even doing some sort of giveaways even starting into the next year because... The giving back thing feels nice and I already privately have done, you know, some pro bono sessions um, along the way. I might might try to do kind of a public way of doing that. So I'm tossing that idea around. Might, might keep that going even past the holidays to some sort of a capacity. So we'll see. We'll see. No promises, but I'm thinking about thinking about how we might be able to make that work so anywho y'all i'm gonna put a b-roll here at the end so that everyone can have some puppy shenanigans and silliness and stuff like that to help lift the mood in case any of this got a little too heavy and stuff for some folks um y'all let me know what else you want to see next in the comments give me the video ideas whether they're about elon musk whether they're about politics or whether they're about other things you know what else do you want to see a reading on anything updated that you want to know going on you know in current events any other things going on in the true crime world that you want to know all kinds of stuff y'all know the video topics we take a look here we look at everything so what are you interested in leave it below i'm keeping my list of considerations here um so anywho y'all don't be a stranger come back and see me and i will talk at you later believe me believe me bye y'all Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Good morning. Good morning, Teddy. Good morning. Teddy. You want to Give me Kiki. Oh my goodness. Can't see your eyeball. Look at this baby. Look at the baby. Look at that baby, oh my goodness. Did you? I think you did. I think you did brush your hair with firecrackers. You're very... 
very connected to seeing what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Scooter, get off of his stuff. <laughs> Scooter licks places he should not be licking. Hey, buddy. Look at you. Are you a little boy? Look at all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, 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 body. Whoa, okay, wow, wow, way to, way to, wow, bull in a china shop. Wow, more bull in a china shop, shenanigans, okay. He's trying to stretch. Ooh, 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 he stretched out our little deer and our little legs. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> my goodness. You don't want to see me disturb the peace? I'm fixing to disturb the peace. Hey everyone. You want your breakfast? <gasps> breakfast? Breakfast? Let's get some breakfast. 